Give it up for our next contestant, John Hammond! I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't have. I feel good. You guys feeling good? Yeah. I'm feeling good because I am lucky to be alive. And this is how it all started. My mother, flanked by her two preteen sons, faced my father to give him the news. Honey, we're going to have a baby. So my dad looked deep into her eyes and said, You got to be shitting me! I thought we were done! He had no idea she'd fired the goalie. So I was brought into this world to the loving care of these two brothers. They thought when they were holding little Johnny, the first thing that they wanted to do is perhaps have him play first base on their Sandlot team. Literally. Third base. <laughs> But they decided to wait just a bit. When I was three years old, I was at home. My brothers were doing their homework. Well, my next oldest brother, Terry, is a little bit of a hothead, very short temper. And Dave is happy-go-lucky. I don't know what Dave said to set Terry off, but Terry went off. So Terry grabbed this padlock off the table threw it at Dave's head, and Dave ducked, and it went right through the dual pane picture window. You could have heard my mom from five blocks away when she came in, what the hell happened to my window? Well, my brothers are so calm, says, we have no idea what got into little John. <laughs> we were just doing our homework, and he just picked up the lock and threw it through the window. They figured she probably wouldn't beat a three-year-old little boy. Yet, if she did, well, it would be okay. <laughs> the real fun was going to the grocery store. I got to ride in the cart. My loving brothers would push me up and down the aisles of the parking lot. I'm lucky to be alive. But the real fun was inside the grocery store. That is where my brother said, hey, John, in the cart, I want you to put your fingers up just like a bull. OK. So I had my fingers up like a bull, and one of my brothers pushed the cart all the way to the glass door. Dave was there with his jacket like a manador, ole, crash, shh, you guessed it, plate glass rained down on me, I'm lucky to be alive, no cuts, I have all my appendages, 4th of July is coming up, I love fireworks, so Dave says, hey John, grab that Sprite bottle by the house, Okay. <laughs> so I grabbed the Sprite bottle and brought it over. And he says, hold it up right here. Okay. So they light these fireworks one by one by one into this green bottle. Oh, pretty. Well, throw it, dumbass. I went, oh, okay. So I threw it up. It explodes, raining down green glass. Seeing a pattern here? <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. <laughs> then, my brothers were feeling bad. I said, you know, John, we really want to make this up to you. So, I know you really like Halloween, right? Yeah, I like Halloween. Well, guess what? You get to be a superhero. <gasps> really? What kind of superhero? Like Spider-Man? Hmm, not so much. Like Superman? Hmm, no, not so much. 
Well, what is it? Well, you know that every superhero has to have a cape, so what you need to do is take your jacket off and we'll put it on like a cape I was much more trained before. Okay, I've got my cape on. That sounds good. And I've got a P on my shirt. What does that mean? Well, you'll know. Every Superman has to have a special mask, and we made one just for you. At this point, I should be trusting my brothers, don't you think? No! So, they said, we got a special hat just for you. Cool. Does it have lasers and stuff? No, not so much. What am I? You are Pinata Man. Cool. What's a piñata? Well, start running. Why are these people running me with sticks? I don't get it. I am so lucky to be alive. You know, most people would just die to have brothers like mine. I almost did. I'm lucky to be alive. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. 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 Yeah.